Welcome, so I'm going to motivate L'Hopital's little rule for you. Again, please remember on this channel I post like non-routine math videos. So you have the limit as x approaches 0 of e to the 2x minus 1 over sine x. Okay, now this is of a particular form. If you replace x with 0, you have e to the 2 times 0 minus 1 over sine 0, okay? That's going to give you here 1 minus 1 over 0, which in the end is 0 over 0, and that's, that's undefined. Now go back to this for a second. If you look at the expression e to the 2x minus 1 over sine x, there's, you can't rationalize this to remove 0 over 0, that issue. So it's different, like when you have, for example, like x squared minus 1 over x plus 1. In that case, you can factor and cancel and do it that way, or you can rationalize sometimes, as I'm sure you've learned, to remove 0 over 0. You can't do that here. So I'm going to try to motivate L'Hopital to some extent for you. Take a look. Okay, so how do we think about this? Okay, so let's look, look at these steps here. So define f to be the top. It's e to the 2x minus 1. That's just the top of this. It doesn't matter that it's called f. You can call it bob if you want. That's not important. Then f prime is 2e to the 2x, okay? And then f prime at 0. Now, why 0? Because the limit is as x is going to 0. And then f prime at 0 is 2e to the 2 times 0, which is 2. So that's just, that's just a slope at 0, okay? And then you do that for the bottom. So the bottom is g and it's sine x in our case. So it's g prime of x, then it's cosine x, and g prime of 0 is cosine of 0, which is 1. So 2 is the slope at 0 of the top, and then 1 is the slope at 0 of the bottom here. So what we are going to do is now for f, we're going to construct a tangent line. So in other words, we are going to linearize the function close to where x equals 0. So that's like y minus e to the 0 plus 1, right? because you have to change the sign here when you distribute the negative. So it becomes a plus here. And then 2 times x minus 0. So that's, give you, that's going to give you y equals 2x. This is the linearized version of the function, the tangent line representation. And remember, that's valid around the point of expansion. So like close to x equals 0, in, in other words. Now for g, you'll have y minus sine of 0 equals 1 times x minus 0. So it's y minus 0 equals x, or in other words, y just equals x. Okay, so now we know that we have the two linearized versions of the functions, 2x for e to the 2x minus 1 and x for sine x. But now remember something. These are valid usually around 0 where the expansion is being done. So look, look, at, look at this graph very carefully, okay? Look at the horizontal axis. It goes from negative 0 0.03 to 0 0.02, so very small range. And look at the vertical axis, it goes from negative 0.1 to positive 0.1. Again, a very small range. And within this neighborhood, you can't really tell the graphs apart, right? So look, e to the 2x minus 1 is just about 2x. There's like a slight deviation over here, right? But close to 0 right here, there's no deviation where my hand is pointing. And sine of x is just about equal to 2x right here, isn't it? You can't really tell them apart, and this is close to 0. So why is this relevant? Well, look, because that means that the behavior of the functions e to the 2x minus 1 over sine x would be the same as the behavior of 2x over x, right? Because we've linearized, and you see that over here, they're about the same. So that means the following. Go back over here for a second. We're going to say the following, then. The limit as x approaches 0 of e to the 2x minus 1 over sine x would be the same as the limit as x approaches 0 of 2x over x, which is then just 2. But what is that number 2, if you think about it very carefully? It's not just a random number, right? Go back to here, and you see that 2x divided by x is 2. That means that the 2 is just a ratio of the slopes. That's all. Of the two linearized uh, versions right here. It's just 2x divided by x. So it's 2 over 1. So that means, basically, it's a ratio of the slopes, right? And replacing f and g with their linearized forms. Now... Go back down and actually apply L'Hopital as we usually learn it. So you have the limit as x approaches 0 of e to the 2x minus 1 over sine x, which is then the limit as x goes to 0 of 2e to the 2x over cosine x. Right, so you just differentiate top and bottom independently, not a quotient rule. And then you have, then you can do direct sub, right? You always try that. So 2e to the 2, zero, 2 times 0 over cosine 0, which is 2 over 1. But that's, again, just the ratio of the slopes, you see? So all of this kind of works out beautifully but in a certain sense, I suppose it's dependent on the fact that in calculus we linearize, right? And when you zoom in over a small enough window, then regardless of how crazy a curve may look often, 
once you zoom in closely enough, it just becomes a line, a straight line, and then you can do something like this. Okay, so let me just kind of zoom out. This might be relevant or inter interesting to you. All right, there you go. Here's all of the work. And the one above is just another example. So, you know, let me leave you with this other example right here. You can read through it on your own. Leave a like if you like these kinds of math videos, and please be sure to check out the other videos on this channel.